How to use GPT script with Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.3. Attached to this controller, I have an agent with the GPT script binary installed on it. Now you might be asking, what is GPT script? GPT script is a new scripting language to automate your interactions with a large language model, namely OpenAI. So how can we use GPT script within a Jenkins pipeline? Well, I've got a sample repository. The link to that sample repository is down in the description. Let's go and take a look at that right now. What I have is a Jenkins file and a couple of GPT files. So let's take a look at what's inside the Jenkins file. Within the Jenkins file, we start out with our agent declaration pointing at an agent that has the label of GPT script. Next, we define an environment variable called openai underscore api underscore key. We're using that to load in our credentials from openai api key. Let's go take a look at that. So if we go back to our controller, manage Jenkins, and go down to credentials. What we'll see is we have a credential defined with the ID of openai api key, and this is a secret text type credential. So it only contains the API key. If we go back over into our Jenkins file, what we'll see is we're running a hello world script. So we're saying GPT script, giving it the path to a file and then passing in a variable. I'll leave it up to you as an exercise to understand what this echo script is doing. Next up, we're running a Bob GPT file and a Bob Python GPT file. Those two files are inside of our repository. If we take a look at Bob GPT, we're calling the Bob tool, which is defined right here. And we're just saying, ask Bob how he's doing and let me know exactly what he said. If we take a look at Bob Python, it's a similar type script, but this time, instead of echoing out just information, we're echoing out based on running a Python script. So the agent that I have where GPT script is running also has Python installed on it. So when GPT script runs, it's gonna invoke this Python script and then return back the answer to us. Now, where did I get all of this information? Let's go back to the documentation for GPT script. If you scroll down to the bottom, first under quick start, I did the installation. I'm currently running on Mac OS. So I did a brew install of GPT script. If we scroll down, we get an API key from OpenAI. Again, I've already done that. We looked at the credential defined within our controller and how we're accessing it within our Jenkins file. And then finally running hello world. And this is the first real stage within our Jenkins file. And then we scroll down a little bit further under how it works and we see the two Bob examples that are in the repository. Here's the base Bob example. And then below that is our Bob Python example. So let's go over into our controller and take a look at the job. Now I've already run the job once. So we take a look at the output from GPT script. And what we'll see first off is the version of GPT script. When we take a look at our Jenkins file, that's always the first step I run. I wanna make sure that I've got the right version of the tool that I'm expecting to run. That also tells me if the tool is actually installed on that agent or not. So I run GPT script dash V. I take a look at the output. I see that's V0.5.1. Next up, we run our GPT script for echo GPT inputting hello world. And we see the output of hello world. We can infer from this that echo GPT is just echoing back whatever we pass in. Next up, we run our GPT script Bob GPT. So unlike the echo example where we're giving it a fully qualified path of what file to run, here, we're just saying, run the file that's in my current file system. Bob said, I'm doing great fellow friendly AI tool. But that seems a little bit strange because if we were to take a look at the definition of Bob, Bob says, when asked how I'm doing, respond with, thanks for asking, I'm doing great. So this answer doesn't really give us what we're expecting. But if we take a look at our Bob Python, we can see Bob said, thanks for asking how you're doing, I'm doing great. If we take a look at that example, then what we can see is we see the exact answer that we were expecting from the initial Bob, but Bob Python gave us a better answer. So what we're seeing here is we can take a simple binary, GPT script, pass in different files to it, whether it's across the wire, like we do with Echo GPT, or just files locally within our repository and actually interact with OpenAI to run scripts within our Jenkins pipeline. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.